Today I'm going to share with you guys some food staples in order for you to prepare for your Daniel fast. As we know, fasting is not the most convenient thing and you will find yourself hungry a lot. Whenever you're hungry and have nothing to eat, that's when there's opportunities for you to slip. We will not set ourselves up for failure. So these are some staples that I normally keep to make my Daniel fast a little more manageable. My name is Kimberly Taylor and welcome to my channel. I hope you stay for a while, but ultimately I want you to treat this like a grocery store. Take what applies, leave what doesn't, and if you're ever on the content market again, you're always welcome back. First and foremost is gonna be fruits and veggies. I mean, obviously, this is what the Daniel Fast is about. You know what you like, so get a lot of what you like or some stuff that you can tolerate. The only recommendation that I am going to make is going to be to get some dates. Also, I will recommend for you to get avocados, if you like avocados, because avocados are high in healthy fats, which will help you be full throughout the day. Next will be herbs. You are going to depend on herbs and seasonings for your food, okay? So get you some herbs. My go-to are always parsley and cilantro. Next, spring mix or lettuce, whichever you prefer, and spinach. I do recommend getting an olive oil and vinegar dressing. Obviously, you can do it yourself, but some of the brands at the store, I realize just tastes a little better, kind of given like Italian dressing, but of course, low sodium, no salt added. Ezekiel bread. Ezekiel bread is pretty accessible in most stores, so you shouldn't have a problem finding that. Beans, I typically get black beans and white beans. Normally, I do get the beans, like the dry bean itself, and then I boil them. If you have to, you can get the canned beans, but make sure you get one that is low sodium or no salt added, because as we know, canned foods are pretty high in sodium, and your goal through this Daniel Fast is to eat as natural and preservative-free as possible. Preservative-free as possible. Next will be oats, the regular brand oats, not the ones that are mixed with different flavors and cinnamons and apples and stuff like that. Rice cakes, most of the brands have a low sodium or no salt added, so opt for those choices. And then whole grains. I typically go for either quinoa, brown rice, or barley. Same goes for pasta. You're going to have to get the whole grain version, so either a chickpea pasta or a lentil pasta. You cannot do white rice or white pasta because those are all processed foods. So anything that's whole grain, you're good to go. Next would be any type of sugar-free nut butter. So that's either peanut butter or almond butter, cashew butter, whichever you prefer. If you're a nuts type of person, you could also have unsalted or unsweetened uh, nuts. So that's pistachios, almonds, peanuts. Those will also keep you full as snacks. Then I recommend getting a plant-based milk to make sure it is unsweetened. I know some of them are vanilla flavored or whatever flavored. Obviously those have some sort of preservative or artificial type of flavoring in it and you wanna stray away from those. Now protein. Protein, when I first started fasting, was the most difficult part for me because, you know, I'll be trying to be a fit girl, so I'd be keeping up with my protein, and I noticed that I would always lose a lot of muscle when I first fasted. I didn't know that you can get sugar-free protein. The brand that I use, I'm gonna link it down below, and I really did like it. Obviously, there's no sugar in it, so anytime you're doing either a smoothie or oatmeal, you're gonna add some dates in it, and it's gonna taste similar to the normal way as you would consume protein. Second form of protein, I know y'all don't wanna hear it, I know it. Tofu, please don't fight me, I already know what y'all thinking. I have another video to show you how to make copycat chipotle sofritas, and it's pretty good. So I recommend trying that for tofu, especially if you're just getting your feet wet, it's very flavorful. It's not me, you won't know it's not me, but it gives you that, that sense of meat for protein. And finally, homemade vegan butter and tortillas, which I have a video for that, so check out the next video. Also, sauces. I have a recipe for a chipotle aioli sauce that is really good. I actually eat that when I'm not fasting. Like, I have some in the fridge as we speak. And then mango habanero, that one's for the people who like a little kick. Corn salsa, I like to put that topping on salads and uh, tacos and sometimes some bowls that I have. Again, everything that I discuss is going to be down in the description box below. I might even make a little PDF guideline. Let me know if you guys are interested in that. I'll definitely put together some meals that you can whip up 
All right, well, thank you so much for watching. I hope this was helpful. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And then also check out the other videos that I have in this Daniel Fast series to help you on your fasting journey. Toodle!